Okay, we are going to move on to the painting of a Klimt Tree of Life. Uh, we already did our practice in our sketchbook, and now we're going to work on painting one. So you get your directions out of your resource folder, and the first step is to do your first name, last name, and room number on the back with a pencil. Then flip it to the front. Remember, you can paint your tree vertical or you can turn your paper and paint it horizontally. So I'll paint it horizontally so it will fit in the screen nicely. Um, also want to remind you that this paper is for underneath your paper so that if you go off of the edge, then it's getting on the paper, not on the table. Each table will get a small thing of gold paint as well as a couple paint brushes. So we are going to be sharing that with our neighbors. So remember some of these trees from your resource papers that will help you with painting that. Um, we're going to start very similar to how we did it in the sketchbook, and that is painting a large trunk in the middle. So when you do this, you want to do your outlines. And then we're going to start those swirls just like we did in our sketchbook. Now you can see when I start to run out of paint, it looks like that. That means you need to dip and get some more. So we're going to go back over that spot and then we're going to work on getting that swirl in nice and swirly. Now this is actually going to be a little easier than the drawing because you won't have to draw it twice to make it look like a branch because the paintbrush already does that for you. So remember part of the directions in our sketchbook as well as this painting is to fill this empty space. So again, I'm making sure that it is not symmetrical on both sides because trees in real life are not symmetrical. It makes it look a little more interesting. So if the edge of your branch looks a little choppy, fix that with your paint before you move on. Okay, and then I may want to do another one up here. So I can add in those branches now and then I'm going to add on to the trunk so that it looks like it's one piece. There's also no erasing necessary in this. Like we did with our pencil, we had to erase things to connect. We do not have to do that on this. Now, take your time and think about where you're gonna go before you paint it because we cannot erase this. So you can see I'm gonna start adjoining these and there's those V's that we talked about when we drew those. There's a V, a second, and a third. So then I'm going to start filling in the tree trunk now. So from one side to the other. Again, if you have a messy edge, you need to try to fix it with your paint so that it's a nice, smooth edge. And anywhere you have clumps of paint, we want to spread that out. So just like we added in our sketchbook, you can just add those branches off of the ones you've already started. So say for example, I want another one over here. So again, on this one we need at least 10, but we're also filling the page. So if 10 is not enough, you're going to add more than 10. I'm going to paint some of these and then I'll come back. So you can see I've added some more and I still need to fill up space. So that's where you're gonna kind of just turn things around and then find a place where you can add another branch. So kind of do it lightly and then if you need more paint to go in, you can add that paint on. Again, making sure the edges of the branches are painted smoothly. We'll also need to add in that horizon line. So again, just, just like we did with our pencil, we're going to take our paintbrush and draw that sort of a small horizon line at the bottom. So it's a small amount of ground is what that is. So mostly sky with some ground at the bottom. 
So again, a nice smooth line, and then you'll paint that space all the way to the bottom of the paper. And then that's where you want to come in and bring the tree all the way to the bottom, if you haven't yet. Spreading out any clumps of paint. Nice big strokes if you have the space. Okay, so here you can see that I've painted all the horizon line, and it just paints right into the trunk, as well as added enough branches to fill the paper. So there's definitely more than 10, because I was following the directions first of filling the space. So once you're done with this part, you're going to put your artwork on the drying rack, and then you are going to clean your brush at the sink. I'm gonna show you how to do that next. So we're at the sink and we're gonna get the water turned on. I'm gonna get some of the water on the brush there using my hand. Then I'm gonna get one pump of soap and I'm going to get the soap in there and clean off it. Now remember this is hair so we wanna be very gentle to not be too rough with it. And then I'm just gonna use my hand to clean that off really quickly. This does not take long. When you're done you turn the water off and then you're going to squeeze the hair and get all that water out of the brush. And then these go upright in a cup. So they should stand upright so that they will dry like that. 